Right, morning to YouTubers, Facebookers and Instagrammers. I thought I'd do a little bit of a um, pup update. I'm getting a lot of people asking me um, at different stages what they should be doing now, where they should be at, what's a good time to start, etc, etc. So although I've covered this a lot over various videos, I thought I'd just try and chuck a, a new video together so to try and cover where I'm up to. So this is my little pup here at the moment, Frankie. He is, I think, 13 weeks tomorrow, something like that. So anyway, I'm just going to get rid of him first and then I can chat to you without him getting a little bit wound up. So be back in a sec. Right, so where am I up to? So <clears throat> I've done uh, some various videos up to now. Um, you'll see the first pup one a few weeks ago where I was just doing a little few retrieves. I think it was about eight and a half weeks at that point. My main focus then was to try and get that retrieve in place. And he was really, really good for the first week. And then he got a little bit confident, a bit monkey, a bit monkey-like. <clears throat> and he started not wanting to come back. So I then went to using my training lane over there. Only had to use it for about four or five days and then uh, I managed to start getting him back on, up on top of me. You might have then seen the next little video where I was in the garden at home playing with the pup, just having fun, getting him to have a sniff around on the ground, trying to get him to start using his nose as well, encouraging him onto me. Um, my main objective with trying to get the dog on me is that I'm trying to pin the dog to one position. Ideally, in the end, I want to try and end up nose to muzzle with the dog. Now, over time, I'll eventually be able to push that into a gentle sit in front of me on the delivery. But I don't tend to worry about that until really quite late on because when I'm doing quite pressured retriever work um, in quite a while, in months and months time, um, I like to keep the end part of it quite fun. I want them to enjoy coming back to me. So I don't tend to make them sit up in any way till quite late on. But by then, they're sit so good and they're so used to coming in, holding the retrieve, that it just doesn't cause me an issue. So I don't even worry about it. As long as I can get that pup up on me, back feet on the floor, um, front feet on the chest, nose to the muzzle, and I'm sort of pinning that dog into one position, that position facing you will eventually go into a sit, no problem. So, <clears throat> My main objective is getting that retrieve in place. Now, I've talked about this before. Um, the other thing that I'm not doing is ta uh, starting to take the dog out, out, out into the bigger wide world. You know, I get a lot of people saying to me, oh, I'm walking my dog in the park and the dog sees other dogs and then it runs off. Those are all things that have genuinely been conditioned into the dog. Training a dog is all habits. Everything in your dog's life is habit. Now. It may be a habit that you've taught. It may be a habit that you haven't intentionally taught, but you will have done uh, through not really knowing when to uh, intercept something, stop something from happening. So, uh, by the way, I've got a little video on uh, some heel work coming out um, towards the end of this week, um, beginning of, what's that gonna be? Beginning of August. Um, so you'll see where I'm up with my lead work at that point there. I've done a couple of other little clips here and there. Um, but, so I've got my retrieve out and back. I'm starting to get him to hunt for it a little bit. I've done a little bit of lead work and he's sitting up nice, nicely for me. Lots of interaction. You'll notice that he's really into me and that's because I'm not exposing him to all those things that I was just talking about. You really need to try and avoid that, guys. I cannot emphasize that enough. Okay, you might be going, well, I only want him to be a sort of gun dog and this other. If you only want him to be a sort of gun dog, you could end up with almost nothing. Okay, so my encouragement for you is put as much effort and uh, control and uh, manipulation, because that's what it is. You're manipulating the dog into doing the things you want him to do. And part of that is by not exposing him to things you don't need him to know about and just keeping him on track with the one things that he does need to know about. Sorry. So I've got my retrieve. I've got my heel work at this stage. I am starting to get him to hunt for a little retrieve. I I am starting to take him in the woods uh, now where I'm rolling uh, a retrieve in amongst the leaf litter and he is starting to hunt that. I'm trying to get that on camera, but it's so difficult because I'm never static. The camera shot's never very good. I will try and endeavor to do that a bit more later on, but um, that is quite tricky to show. But so we're up to about 13 weeks. Now, ideally, if I can get my puppy to sort of about 18, 19, 20 weeks and I've got a solid retrieve out and back, still holding the pup, throwing it out, letting it go, a dog walks nicely, sits up on the lead, and I'm not, and I emphasize not, going for lots of walks where I'm watering down the quality of my heel work, where I'm not exposing the dog to running around. I don't know, some of you might be in that bracket, you're starting to notice that dog was, that you were letting run around your feet, now it's going a little bit further, then starts to play little games, doesn't want to come back to you. Okay, you need to nip those sorts of things in the bud. That means you've got to sometimes stop doing things you were doing. And that's fine, you were doing them up to that point. 
but start to notice little trends and change in your dog's character. It's really important to uh, be aware of those things. If you're not sure about something, you can always contact me uh, and I'll do my best to have a little chat. By the way, if you do contact me and uh, I, you struggle to, uh, sorry, I struggle to get back to you. The problem is sometimes I get so many messages across so many different social medias that I struggle to keep up sometimes. So the best thing is just to pest me um, if you're trying to get hold of me, by the way. Um, so yeah, so up to sort of 18, 20 weeks, all I really want is that retrieve and bat, walking to hill, sitting, starting to hunt for a retrieve and no exposure to all the other things. If you can do that, and then you say to me, Chris, I want to come training, or you want to go and see another trainer, that would be the perfect situation. That is the, uh, is that is the foundations that will go on into your gun dog training. But what, as, as I said, you don't want to be in the situation of is that new trainer having to then undo things uh, that you've done, uh, which you perhaps shouldn't have done. Now, obviously that's hard, which is why I'm trying to go over that. But the main thing is retrieve, heel work, and no exposure to everything else, okay, pretty much. There's a few things you can do. Um, but about uh, pretty much that's about it. Um, yeah, so if you've got any more questions, by all means, drop me a message um, and I'll do my best to get to you. Anyway, I hope that's been some help, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like and follow me. It does help me out. I'm doing my best to try and help you with content. Um, sometimes uh, my mate, my, one of my best friends calls me the truth bulldozer. I tend to just say it how it is. Um, and for some people, they don't want to hear that. They want to do it the other way and that's fine. It's just, I will try and always teach what uh, the way that I feel will give you the best result in the end. Anyway, catch you later guys.